previously in the last video. Then I shall therefore command you. Tell me what is wrong so that I may fix it. I'm sorry, honey. You can't fix anything. It's just too far gone. And now back to the present. Yo, what is up, everybody? Zan's Epic Kid here, back again with yet a new part of Noapte Bona or Buna. I, I I gotta look up how it's pronounced. Anyways, we last left off playing as Fomania and his friend or advisor Prickolai. Together, they must save their kingdom from um the the bad crops and other stuff. I don't know. Anyways, long story short, citizens hate Fomania and Fomania wants to be liked by the citizens. So then Prickola is like, oh yeah, I'll do all the work. Just look just look good and look like you're doing it so that the people like you anyways. Oh look, it's Ah uh, yes, my grand throne! Oh anyways, time to go. Ah uh, yes, crystal ball so I can look into future. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, I just I got impressed by those nice looking stained glasses. And there's more stained glass. Ah uh, yes, all of these angels shall bow down and sing to me. And the angels are like, You ain't shit. <laughs> oh, ew, who the frick made that water that color? It's like someone took a shit in it. Well multiple people did. Oh, I wonder who's that. Who's what? Never mind. I'm more concerned about. Why is the river red? Um, sure, which way to which? Yarp Majesty! <laughs> Your Majesty, it's just horrible. The river, it's. it's been poisoned! Real shit? Language, Ro! Don't worry, I'm used to the bad words. Oh, damn, I mean, <laughs> it's just me whenever I end up swearing and then people call me out for it and I'm like, oh, fuck. I can't stop now that you pointed it out. <laughs> Are you for real? Tell us when this all started. A few, a few nights ago, sir, suddenly red started trickling into our streams, our rivers, our reservoirs, and our wells. It poisons our crops, it wreaks havoc on the ecosystems, and our animals are beginning to die off as they have nothing to drink anymore. This is... this is so strange. Well, we solved the bad crops. It's bad water. Now, praise me. I think. Mean, oh, first we solved the bad crops, now it's bad water. Now praise me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't... I didn't... The lack of face, it's maybe a thing that was the servant talking. Well done, your majesty. More enthusiastic. Well done, your majesty. Hmm. We should take a closer look at this infected water. Wait, don't! It's poison! <laughs> I wouldn't go near that if I were you. Looks like blood. Hmm. Smells spicy. Did someone freaking dump chili powder into the river? Actually, never mind. Go guzzle it down. I can just get a new advisor once the old one dies of stupid. Christ, but don't actively try and off yourself. Paprika. You what? That's paprika, and quite a strong concentration of it, too. Hmm. Ew, paprika water. I have a hypothesis. You soon died. No, a theory. Something is poisoning our rivers with paprika. But not only that, all of our water sources are suddenly infested. This is no coincidence. Someone is doing this on purpose, but who? Someone terrible for sure. Yes. And I'm willing to bet anything it's a political rival too. Someone with great smarts that far outstrips our own prince. I don't know, that's a pretty- the prince already set a pretty low bar to be honest. <laughs> I don't think you have to be super cunning to be able to- Okay. Someone devious, cunning, and clever, but I must match their witch. If I am to solve this mystery once and for- 
Stop, stop, stop! What? You've totally taken over my story! Not my fault, I tell it better. Why is my character such a dick? Why does yours get to be the cunning one? I'm just as cunning! Because I'm the smarter one. That's debatable. You don't even know who's behind the paprika poisoning yet. Well, neither do you. It's a mystery. We solve it together using clues and deduction along the way. That's what... Blah blah blah. Boring city resident you. Of course, I know who the poisoner is. Fine. Who? My sister just came in and now we're ordering ramen. Yay! Anyways. It's... <laughs> of course, it's hungry. <laughs> of course, it's my old rival. Um, Pungary. <laughs> Smell is a beta. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're having hungry as the bad guy. Well, I mean, she does it to me also. Who said it was her? Are you calling Hungry Stinky? Because it's her human name and the word smell attached to it. You dingus. Why is she so smelly? Because he can't let go of grudges. Because she smells so strongly of sweat and bad things. Gross. Yup. This is really immature. You started it with the whole full mania thing. You started it with Bulgaria, you dumb fuck. Oh, come on, that's funny. Best thing I've come up with two nights so far. There's more. Of course there's more. So where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, not her. How devious. How w could you do this to my precious kingdom? To the land I love! Huh, it's easy for someone as well as me. I just snuck in with my spices and poisoned the rivers. Oh, sorry. And poisoned the rivers. It's nicer this way, don't you think? Don't you see what you're doing? You won't get away with this. I, I have to stop you. <laughs> oh my... No! <laughs> Brick lie, you were always so pathetic and weak. Leave the fighting to someone like me. <laughs> Try and catch me now. So long, boys. No, she was too fast. She tripped me with her magic, then made me water froth. I'm pretty sure you just tripped over your stupidly long robes. I did not. I literally saw you just do that. As did I. But no matter. Now, fellow friend, we have a mission. Find Smell Elizabetta and kill her. Wait, that's a bit heavy for kids. <laughs> Dude, we're not killing her. Find Smell Elizabetta and stop her once and for all. And put her in Smelly Dungeon. And then perhaps make a peace treaty with her so that we might share in the spices she poisons us with. Onward we go into the town, through the pathway in the forest, and into the next kingdom to. Oh, it's like the map. Like, let's get the map. Into the t first we go to the town, then to the forest, then finally the next kingdom. We need supplies. Such a journey requires not only supplies, but also a guide through the forest. You see, it is enchanted. Enchantments don't scare me. I myself am a master enchanter. Your bravery is astounding. Truly, you are a great leader. But these are no ordinary enchantments. You don't understand. Others who enter the forest without care never return. You must get the help of a third. Perhaps I know the way. No. You don't. What kind of advisor would I be if I did not know the layout of the kingdom and its surroundings? A bad one, because you don't know it. 
fine. We'll find someone in the town. Onward, we must find my sword and my crossbow. Plus, next we're road and... Can I have a hot chalky, please? Okay, fine. A hot chalky, too. The whole point of the story is to put you to sleep. You can't sleep with hot chocolate in your stomach. But hot chalky does make me sleepy. Well, more like hot milk. Please. Fine. Well, make him a hot chalky. Why me? Because you're closer to the door. I'll tell the rest of the story while you're gone. Oh great, you're just gonna make me look stupid and incompetent while you try to save the day. Yep, pretty much. No, don't tell it without me. I I mean, we already started telling the story together. It wouldn't make sense if you just continue to rest by yourself. Mm, depends on how fast you make it and if you make me one too. Alright, alright, I'm going. Uh, am I in the story? Uh, of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? I mean, uh, you forgot about Moldova in the story. I totally have a character in mind for you. Am I a hero too? Well, you'll just have to hear how the story goes, won't you? <laughs> the road down to the palace was long and winding. Fortunately, the prince was strong-willed with a good sense of direction. And the advisor came with him too. And this one is a tree of elderberries. They make such a good wine when made correctly. And these down here are Urtica Dioki Deodabara. You mean stinging nettles? Yes. Now, my hypothesis is that they sting from their common name. But being as I never go outside and just stay indoors eating yogurt and reading all day. Reading that sweet Attack on Titan manga. I have no idea. So, as a man of science, I must test my fancy hypothesis myself and prove it. Don't. You shouldn't touch. <gasps> Youch! That. Unfortunately, he was being a total drag. Stop yelling like that. You're going- Oh, stop yelling like that. You're going to get us found out. But it really hurts. <laughs> well, I told you not to touch it, but you just had to go and touch it. Oh. Oh no. What? I heard something, and I think I know what it is! Pish posh, how could you know something I don't? Hmm. Bandits, show yourselves! <laughs> um, no! No! Okay. Prepare for- We should play, like, the- the- this was a good time to play the Team Rocket theme here. Now the plan. Prepare for trouble. Make it double, triple. We are. The Smoxy's power is Oh no, we're done for! I mean, oh no, we're done for, uh. Oh, don't be such a wuss. I was trained for many years in the art of sword fighting just to fight bandits like the Shmaxis powers. Wait, who are you guys? Uh, we just told you our super cool group name. Don't tell me you never heard of us. My name is Sneaku and I am a master of disguise and deception. It was because of me that we were able to get so close. I am Bloodvig, warrior in body und mind. I can deadlift all of you right here, right now. <laughs> and I am she. <laughs> she actually forgot about that one. <laughs> and I am p prettily because I must be pretty all the time and perfect. Except all the pressure from the expectations makes me crumble the other. I mean, <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? Italia is already bad enough. Why name him Shitily? Oh, and I'm the lead leader. I'm the leader because I'm descended from Rome. And I mean Foam, the kingdom of Foam. Yeah, I too am a descendant of Rome, you smuck. No one else here is. 
descended from foam, especially you, Princey. Wasn't Romano the only one who was vehemently, like, denying that Romania's part of came from Rome or such? I don't know. Italy wasn't that vocal <laughs> about it if he felt the same. I'm just as descended from Rome as you are! I mean, foam. No, you are irrelevant! Once we win, we'll take your crown and then I'll become the new ruler of Bulgaria. I can't let you do that. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> That's actually really sad. What were you pointing that thing? Afraid? No! I just... Uh, I'm good at fencing, but when it's the real thing, it's just... Uh, I didn't think you would have a weapon. We usually target people without them. And, um, you should fight Bloodwig first. Yeah, that's it. Go, Bloodwig! Sneaku! As you wish, uh, a prettily, Sneaku, use your press weapon. Yeah, your weapon thingy. Um... What? He's talking about your long sword thingy. Oh yeah, I get it. Because Japan was in the list of, like, popular characters. And, like, his banned words are katana. And, like, he can't wield the katana or something like that. I don't know. So, <laughs> okay. It's called a katana, right, Bloodwig? No, it's a bad word! No! No, I'm kidding. Yes, it's called a katana. I thought you said banana. What? This morning, when we were getting ready, I thought it was weird this morning when you said to get the loser and get your banana. <laughs> we're going hunting! <laughs> no! But he seemed in such a rush, it seemed rude to contradict you. <laughs> My goodness, keep sneaker. Why the hell would he ask you to bring a banana to a fight? I mean, you can choke people with the banana or make them slip over it, I guess. Or use it as a peace offering. But that potassium. He can't fight with a banana. Not with that attitude, he can't. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And not with that attitude, he can't. All oh, these names. I could put it on the ground so they slip and fall. Whoever strategy gives us the high ground. Shut up, both of you. Just, just shut up. Now we are gonna lose. Sorry. You're not getting paid for this one, you know. Anyway, your money or your life. I mean, as long as you're still alive, you can just freaking beat the shit out of shit elite. So, <laughs> money. You know, we can we can't possibly live without the money. Here, take all of our money. We're not even carrying any money, you dingus. Right then, we'll take your lives then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, it's it's the bandit trio. No. Um. Oh, okay. So I see Principal Me has more HP, but less SP. Advisor Prickle has less, more SP, less HP. Okay. Bird killer. Let's kill this bird, Sneaku. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, this is an impossible battle! Do we have items? We have no items, right? So I'm just gonna spam our special- What's all this? I told you to wait for me! I got bored? Unbelievable. And after I actually bothered to make your, your drinks too. Thank you, Nick. Ugh! What's the matter? You put salt in this! I have no idea of what you're talking about. My hand slipped, you see. It 
didn't put salt in mine. You bastard! Hey, this is revenge. I know it was you who put that water in my cup. You didn't know that was me. Why didn't you put salt in Mole's cup? I had a hunch, and I don't poison children. Yeah, that'd be too cruel to give Moldova salt water. And you ruined a perfectly good chocolate! Suck it up, Fulmania. We've got a story to tell. After fighting off the bandits, the two intrepid heroes made their way into the town. Which was bustling, the people at the height of its market. But with so many people, how were they ever going to find a guide? Well, we can't go in without a guide. Not after I've seen your pathetic fighting skills. Yeah, and you'd get lost in half a second with that brain of yours. But how are we gonna find a guide in these massive crowds? We need someone sharp and hardy, with their wits about them. I. Book smarts don't count. Mm. Well, let's let's look around. Yeah, let's. We must search the town for the stock. All right, and that is all for today. Anyways, yeah, we. Wait a second. Fomedia, you're wearing your normal outfit. You're not even in your cape anymore. Oh my god, this has become too immersive of a story. We must abort, abort mission. Nah, just kidding. Anyways, yeah, this is a. Uh, I like those sprites. The sprite with freaking prickle eye in the freaking water. That caught me off guard. <laughs> it was funny. And yes, of course, Romania is gonna choose Hungry of all people to be the bad guy. But yeah, I like these XP maps, um, the art's nice, and can't wait to see how these two will manage to save their kingdom from the evil smell is a better. Ooh. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!